How's it going guys and welcome to On Deck Baseball. I'm your host, Evan Mendoza. I'm with the St. Louis Cardinals. I play infield. Today's episode is about me, my story about how I became a professional baseball player with the St. Louis Cardinals and my journey so far. I'm here to tell you what that journey looked like for me and what my youth looked like. That way you guys might be able to expect a little bit more and learn. All right, to, to start out my story, T-ball, I remember my first game. Um, I don't actually really remember it, but I remember my parents' story about how I was on the pitcher's mound during my first game. Someone hit a ball off the tee. I carelessly just put my hand up with my glove. Um, didn't really know where the ball was going, but supposedly the, the ball just fit right there perfectly in the glove and I caught it. Um, don't really remember how, um, but ever since a young age, I just had such a happy time playing baseball. Uh, I remember playing um, or watching my brother play and me being on my skateboard when I was three, four years old around the park. I remember I wanted to be out on that field playing ball more than skateboarding or whatever it was at the time. After T-ball, um, actually my, my family moved from Maryland, which is where I was born, Baltimore, Maryland, to Sarasota, Florida. Um, I played Little League in uh, basically where the Baltimore Orioles minor league complex is. It's uh, called Twin Lakes Park in Sarasota, Florida. That's where I played most of my uh, youth Little League games. That's where I really developed into the player that I am today. That's where I still go sometimes if I'm trying to throw the ball or hit off the tee, whatever the case may be. I played Little League up to uh, I think nine years old and then I transitioned slowly into travel ball with some friends. To start out I went really local and uh, most of the competition was within probably a 30-40 minute drive. Not too far, not too bad, but that's how I, I got started into travel ball. I played travel ball all the way up until basically high school, um, the end of high school. And just like a bunch of you guys did, I, I'm sure. I played in the Five World of Sports, all the perfect game tournaments were huge back in my day. So I played in a bunch of perfect game tournaments in high school, in Fort Myers, all that stuff. I even went to Arizona one time with a team. Um, so those were all great experiences to learn that, hey, this is a baseball game that can be played anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world that is really interesting. My family did a lot of moving through my middle school years, but my freshman year of high school, I actually went to a high school in Severna Park, Maryland called Severna Park High School. I made varsity as a freshman. I was a two-way player, pitcher and shortstop. Um, played a little bit of second as well. 2011 was, uh, was a great year. I played a lot more than I expected to. We made the state championship game. I was actually the starting pitcher of that game. I had a great record, great ERA my freshman year. Unfortunately, it didn't go as planned. I kind of had nerves. I guess it's completely normal for a freshman 14-year-old uh, to, to have a state championship game um, playing against 17, 18-year-olds. Didn't really perform too well. Um, gave up a huge lead in the first inning while pitching, and then our team was able to fight back, tie the game. And uh, I remember there were some unfortunate calls that went by, but ended up losing the game by one run. I remember it being extremely upset on the bus ride home. But after my freshman year of high school, my family decided to move once again to Sarasota, Florida, back to where I kind of grew up most of my childhood. Um, went to Sarasota High School, very prestigious high school in Sarasota, Florida, right near downtown Sarasota. Uh, a lot of big league talent that's gone by and went through Sarasota High School. Scooter Jeanette, Casey Kelly, Ian Desmond, just to name a few. Um, we've also had coaches in the league. A bunch of players have gone through Sarasota and performed very well in their baseball program. Just about sophomore year at Sarasota High School, I was mostly a pitcher and then junior and senior year I played shortstop as well. Um, I had to work my way to become that starting shortstop for the Sailors. Um, still playing travel ball uh, with a very high-end travel ball team called FTB, Florida Travel Ball. Um, great organization. Our team has a number of players that are on MLB The Show right now. Um, it's just a crazy organization to be a part of. So I was playing with them, which is the right team to be on. That's where all the college scouts are going to be, all the pro scouts are going to be. Uh, mostly a pitcher on that team and 
I remember at an East Cobb tournament in Marietta, Georgia, I threw a complete game in like 70 pitches. I was just dominating, really efficient work, and uh, the North Carolina State recruiter, Chris Hart, was there watching that game. And after that game, it took about two days to have a phone call with him, and that is when they offered me uh, a scholarship to go play at the Division I ACC level, which I was completely happy to accept. I had National Signing Day, all that stuff. That was a great experience to go through. Really proud to, to show that all my hard work in baseball has really proved itself. At North Carolina State, I started my freshman year as the Saturday starter. That lasted about two or three weekends until, again, I didn't really perform too well, so I was put into the bullpen. Uh, I went as a player to North Carolina State, but I didn't really play the infield too much my freshman year. I played one game against Virginia, and I went 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. So that was my final hitting line of the 2015 season. 2016, I worked incredibly hard to, to earn that starting position. I became the starting third baseman um, in 2016, about a week into the season. Took that opportunity and ran with it. My first game, I think I went three for four. The next game, I think I was two for four. Just constantly never gave up. Was ready for that opportunity when my name was called. Sophomore year, I hit, I think, 362. Uh, hit a great average. I was second team all ACC. Um, we made it to, hosted a regional, I should say. Uh, lost to Coastal Carolina, which was the eventual national champions. But either way, made it to a regional, played in the playoffs. It was a lot of fun. My junior year, it was a down year for me. Um, hit around like 270, but all the power numbers were up. Home runs, doubles, RBIs. That's what I was happy about. My strikeout to walk ratio was really good. Uh, so I felt I was still dominating at the plate, even though the average wasn't the same as my sophomore season. After my junior year, as most of you know, I got my name called in the MLB draft in 2017 by the St. Louis Cardinals in the 11th round. They actually announced that I was a pitcher, which was obviously a mistake, but nonetheless, got signed to the St. Louis Cardinals a few days later, got shipped out to State College, Pennsylvania. I joined the State College Spikes, the rookie ball, short season affiliate of the St. Louis Cardinals. Had a tremendous pro debut. Uh, I went two for four with a double in my first game. And uh, after that, I kept writing history, I won uh, player of the week two times in a row, which was the first time in the State College Spikes history. And State College Spikes have a number of big leaguers as well in their organization. Um, ended up finishing at 370, my average, with the State College Spikes, and I was just dominating a lot of categories in the league, not necessarily the team. Got promoted to Peoria Chiefs in Peoria, Illinois, which is the low A team. Played about 20 games there, finished short, season in Peoria, I think with like a 280 average. So combined that 2017 short season, I think I hit 340. Uh, tremendously happy with my pro debut that first season. It was a ton of fun. And I really wish I could go back again and play. In 2018, I started the year for the high A affiliate of the Cardinals, the Palm Beach Cardinals. It's a very pitcher friendly league. Um, even though I knew that going into it, I ended up hitting 350 in that league over a course of a month and a half. Got promoted to AA Springfield in Springfield, Missouri. That's one of the best stadiums and places to play in all of minor league baseball, Hammonds Field. It's a great fan base in a college town. Love that place to death. Finished out the rest of the 2018 season with the Springfield Cardinals and I hit I think uh, 280 on the year, or 289 I believe on the year and uh, was happy with those results as well. 2019, I actually started the year in spring training, playing with the big league team, backing up Paul Goldschmidt a ton. Uh, start out the year, the regular season in AAA, unfortunately got demoted to AA so I could play a little bit more consistently. In mid-June, got called up to AAA once again. My first time back, hit a double in Reno, Nevada was a really fun time in AAA, even though it was cut short by a wrist injury. Um, and that kind of takes us to today. Uh, after my wrist surgery, I, I rehabbed it for three months. Unfortunately, I rebroke it. 
So another rehab of three months, and that's what I've been doing this entire off season is rehabbing, getting ready for, for spring training. I was ready, I was in big league camp, sharing the clubhouse with all those big names, and I was having a ton of fun. My quarantines happened because of the coronavirus, and I've really decided to interact with you guys. So that's why I've started this on deck podcast, maybe we'll expand to that, but on deck series on YouTube that I want to share with you guys that I think it's going to be an unreal experience to understand who I am, how I operate, some of my mindsets, my routines, little things like that. And these are different topics that we're going to go over later on in the series. But hope everyone's doing well. Remember, if you haven't already liked this video, subscribe to the channel. You won't regret it. You'll learn a thing or two if you're serious about baseball. All right. Take care, guys.